There have been several proposals in the past to demolish Fort Snelling, whether to make room for highways or to make a cultural statement. But Mother Nature seems to be doing a fine job on her own, as we're going to see. Now the kind of destruction that I'm talking about is stone decay. Because this fort has uh, what you might say osteoporosis. It has uh, a form of wall decay, uh, which we're going to take a look at uh, down the path a little bit. What first drew my attention to this wall decay at Fort Snelling was a mineralogical curiosity that I call Snelling's Musket Balls. These are botryoidal concretions in the St. Peter sandstone that underlies the fort. They're about some up to about a centimeter in size. Uh, but unlike ordinary concretions that you'd find in such a sandstone, uh, these are calcareous. And I can show you this by taking one of these and placing it in concentrated hydrochloric acid, also known commercially as muriatic acid. And we can see the fizz reaction, which shows that it is calcium carbonate. So the fizz, that's, that's carbon dioxide b being given off. Um, so what this indicates is that these concretions are not made of sandstone or sand grains as they would be in an ordinary sandstone. They're actually completely, um, you know, calcium carbonate. And if you leave this long enough, if you leave this concretion in here um, for a few hours, uh, as I've done elsewhere, um, it will dissolve away totally and there will just be sort of a... Uh, um, a cloudy uh, liquid left uh, in the dish. So the question becomes now, where does this extraneous calcium carbonate come from? It's not natural to this sandstone. So we got to go find out uh, where this came from. Well, here we find Snelling's musket balls, or these little musket ball shaped and sized concretions actually in place. Now, I was down on the trail doing the acid test down there, um, but here we see where they actually come from. Uh, and so still, if you see this outcrop of St. Peter sandstone here, this is what it usually looks like. It's just this whitish, sugary type of sandstone. And here we, you know, we have all these nodules in this particular place. So where did that calcium carbonate come from? Well, if you look up at what's above us here, you will see the source of the calcium carbonate that has been redeposited in the sandstone as these concretions. Basically, over the years, rainwater has washed over the lime mortar, uh, bringing that down, bringing the, the, the calcium minerals down, and they get redeposited um, in the sandstone where after a period of time they wash out and, and then they basically roll down to the trail where you can find them. Uh, if you look over on the other side, you can see another probable source connected with that. You will see a bit of the Platteville limestone outcrop. So the Platteville limestone is the cap rock on top of the St. Peter sandstone and it is the rock immediately underlying the fort. So there's groundwater passing through the Platteville limestone. And it's, so in addition to rainwater, there's probably this groundwater coming out and uh, bringing those lime minerals down here. And again, which gets redeposited to form these nice little botryoidal uh, concretions here uh, that we find uh, so heavily impregnated 
with calcium carbonate. Now here we are at the base of the wall of Fort Snelling, again a different place, and here we can actually see this process operating. You see there's seepage water coming out here and just basically eating away the lime mortar, uh, leaching out that lime mortar and taking it into the ground where presumably below us those concretions are forming in the sandstone that is below our feet here. But now if we look over this way, there's an interesting kind of thing going on here. Here we see the, four, the walls of the fort end right here where this tree is sticking out uh, and then they, they abut directly the outcrop of Platteville limestone and then which continues so they they very uh, cleverly work the uh, the natural the natural defense feature of this uh, uh, flat limestone outcrop into the uh, into the defenses so I think that is an interesting notion. Whoa.